video 67 take one today we are talking about our trip to the pennsylvania wilds where there was lions and tigers and bears all right there were bears that we didn't see there were probably mountain lions that we didn't see i'll give you that one fishers yes and elk which we didn't see right but beautiful scenery, most wild place I've ever been to. And we were invaded by flies. Check it out. I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. And we are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. We feature camper tours, interviews with builders, campground reviews, and we offer camping tips. If that's your cup of tea, then please subscribe. I've lived 60 years of my life in probably a 20 mile radius in New Jersey. So I had no idea that this wild of a landscape and a country could be this close. It's only a couple hundred miles away, but it was amazing. It was so wild. The scenery was beautiful. I loved almost everything. I didn't love was the fly. I got out of the van when we pulled into our spot and I opened up the back door to start getting stuff out of the van and I felt something biting me. And I looked down and that fast had six flies on my ankle. And it was like that the entire weekend. They did die down at night. Yes. So this is Kettle Creek State Park. It is beautiful. I wish we would have saw elk. Um, I would really like to go back to Kettle Creek. Me too. Another great feature about this campground, they have a lot of um, ATV trails up there. It's not so close that you hear it from the campground, but there were probably three cargo campers in our campground. There were toy haulers. There are ATVs in there to go ride the trails. So it's a great place to go riding. Bathhouse. Okay, these are the bathrooms at Kettle Creek State Park in Pennsylvania. They look like they've been recently done. They're nice and clean. This is the bathhouse. It looks like four bathroom stalls. 
and private showers, even the handicapped one. Nice and clean. Very good. So overall, I really liked this campground. I didn't like the flies, but I loved the campground. We were in a site right next to the camp host. They were very nice, very helpful. The park rangers came by a lot. Like I said, it was so such a remote place, and yet we had electric. The other thing, it was being so remote, but yet the bathrooms were beautiful. So I definitely would go back. And another thing I really loved about the area, well, you have some history related to the area um, that you've been there before and had your first hunting experience up there, which we also did a video on. Some people may not like that video um, because he did kill a bear as a child, so there's a video on that. Now, but that was 56 years ago, and life was different back in those days. It was, and... And I'll tell you one thing, the video, there's really nothing gross in the video. Actually, the video is kind of humorous. There, there's some very funny parts to it. You know, it's just a story. Imagine being a 12-year-old and being in, out in the woods your first time, your first time hunting with, all, with your dad and all these grown-ups, and you come home with the trophy. You're the one who guns down that bear. That's got to be a 12-year-old's dream. It's a triumph. Um, and that's really what the story is about. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for the bear, too. But I didn't put pictures of the bear off. And, so anyway, that took place up there. And then Rick also got to meet this guy named Dorsey Calhoun. She was the first person to ever successfully drill a gas well in Pennsylvania and hit natural gas. And... He was like a, an overnight millionaire. Well, some of the articles I read, they, they likened him to like the Beverly Hillbillies. Him. He sounds like quite a character, and I think you were probably very fortunate to meet him. Yeah, um, uh, I do feel fortunate to have met someone who uh, was a piece of Americana history. Exactly. So here we are heading up to the Vista Point at Kettle Creek State Park. And this is a narrow one-lane road up to the top of the mountain. This was actually one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. It was so peaceful there, I really did not want to leave. But I didn't want to drive down that narrow, windy, three-mile mountain road in the dark either. Another great vista point nearby is called Heiner View. I know, I know, funny name. Um, but the view was phenomenal. People actually go there and hang glide. There's a ramp there that they hang glide off. We didn't get to see any of that, unfortunately, but awesome view. So we're heading to our next campground. It was supposed to be Leonard Harrison State Park in Pennsylvania, but the road got washed out, so we couldn't go there. And that's in the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. We did tour the Grand Canyon, we just didn't camp there. Our next leg of our trip, it will be Buttermilk Falls, and we're gonna link that right up here. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. Y'all come back now, you hear?